corporal punishment, which means using physical discipline like paddling or spanking on students, was already on the decline before the pandemic. However, it is still allowed in 19 states, mainly in the southern United States. Researchers say this practice can make children more aggressive and disruptive. Recently, a school district in Missouri announced that they would start using paddling again, which got a lot of attention and criticism. But the truth is, corporal punishment never completely disappeared from many schools. Despite efforts to stop it, it's still legal in 19 states, mostly in the South. Although the numbers have gone down in the past 10 years, around 70,000 public school kids experienced corporal punishment in the 2018 to 2019 school year. Almost 4,000 schools reported using it during that time. Some people want to see this practice banned across the country. Morgan Craven, who works for an organization that supports banning corporal punishment in schools, called it a disturbing practice. The recent news from Missouri is that a school district there is bringing back paddling, even though they had stopped doing it in 2001. They say it will only happen with a parent's permission and when other forms of discipline have failed. This practice is still allowed because of a U.S. Supreme Court decision from over 45 years ago. In 1977, the court said that it was okay for public schools to use corporal punishment, and each state could decide its own rules. But if an adult were to hit another adult with a wooden board, it would be considered assault. A professor from the University of Texas pointed out that it's strange that when a teacher hits a child, some states and schools say it's okay. It's like children have less protection from violence than adults. Groups like the American Psychological Association have opposed corporal punishment in schools for a long time. They say it can hurt and traumatize kids and doesn't actually improve their behavior. In fact, kids who are paddled more often tend to become more aggressive and disruptive. Critics also say that black students and students with disabilities are more likely to be paddled in school than others. Even though these students make up a smaller percentage of the total student population, they are more likely to face corporal punishment. In the last five years, four states have banned corporal punishment for students with disabilities, but Oklahoma only banned it for students with severe disabilities. Some people are worried that schools are still using this punishment, especially when kids are dealing with more serious mental health challenges because of the pandemic. The American Academy of Pediatrics declared child and adolescent mental health a national emergency in October. Experts say kids need support, like counselors and teachers who understand trauma. Using corporal punishment, which can be harmful and re-traumatizing, doesn't help. While it's disheartening that the Missouri district is bringing back paddling, some hope it will start a bigger conversation about this practice. Most people in the country might think it's already been banned, but it's not. Some say it's time to reconsider whether it's okay for the state to use physical punishment on children and work towards ending it.